G'day, my name is Wayne Hoggett and I'm a senior author at Pluralsight. We all know that you can import your resources into Terraform State, but you'll need to write the config yourself, right? Well, that's not entirely true. Since version 1.5, Terraform has had experimental support for generating Terraform config from existing resources using import blocks. In this video, I'm going to show you how this can be done for Azure resources. Let's jump in. Here I have an Azure Container instance that I've deployed as a test in Cloud Playground. Now I want that resource as production-ready Terraform code so I can create an exact copy of it in another environment. Let's flick over to Visual Studio Code. I've already authenticated with the Azure CLI using AZ login and the credentials from Cloud Playground. Next, we'll need to check the Terraform version. We'll need to be using at least Terraform version 1.5 to use the new import blocks that are used to generate the configuration. If I open main.tf here, you can see that I have a basic Terraform block and an Azure RM provider block in that file. First, we need to run Terraform init to initialize the provider. Now we need to write an import block for each of the resources that we want to import. And we'll also create an import block for the resource group. To write those import blocks, we need the resource IDs. So let's grab the resource IDs using the Azure CLI. We'll run az resource list, and we'll query just the IDs of the resources, and we'll send that out to tab separated values. Let's declare our import blocks. Terraform plan will look for these when generating config. Let's start with the resource group. We'll create our import block and open the curly braces. Now, the ID argument is where we provide the existing resource ID that we want to import. And the to argument specifies the resource type and a label for that resource. And these are separated by a period. I then need to repeat this for the container instance, but I'll speed that part up. Now let's save our Terraform file. And with our import blocks defined, we can run Terraform plan and use the generate config out flag to generate the configuration for our existing resources. We'll generate the configuration for these resources in a new resources.tf file. Now we can tidy up that generated config and bring it over into our configuration. Leave the import blocks for now, so Terraform will import these resources into state when we run Terraform apply. After that, we can go ahead and remove them. As we bring the generated configuration over, we'll remove any generated values that we don't need and tidy up the config to remove any optional values where the default value can be used. You also might want to swap out some values for references to other resources in your config. Just be aware that the configuration that's generated is experimental and it will not work perfectly every time. I'll remove all the values that I don't need and I'll speed this part up too. Now we could also swap out some values for variables if we'd like to as well, or build modules from the generated configuration. It's really up to you how you use this generated configuration. We can go ahead and remove that empty resources.tf file because we don't need that anymore. Now we can run Terraform apply to update our state to match what we've deployed and apply our configuration. Now that we've successfully run Terraform apply, we can remove those blocks if we'd like to, and that's it. We've moved from a resource defined through clicks to production ready infrastructure as code, which we can use across another environment or keep for later use. All right, that's it from me. You can give this a go in Cloud Playground if you'd like to try it out yourself. Now, if you found this video useful and want to see more content like this, give us a like and subscribe. Also, if you want to take the next step in your tech learning journey, sign up for free tech skills courses below. Catch you next time.